All right, guys, so <clears throat> I saw the new Naruto Storm 4 skin, and, you know, I'm not going to lie to you guys, okay? When I first saw on the scan that it's going to be possible for you to switch out, I was like, yo, pretty cool, man. I mean, it took them a fucking while, mind you, but I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. And, and then I started thinking about everything, all right? I put everything into perspective, the good and the bad. So I'm going to start out with the bad because I feel that that's the first thing I want to get out of the way. Uh, so that way you guys can understand why I'm saying this. But the bad that I was thinking about was, you know, just think of the three most OP character in the roster, okay, that you can think of. And then just imagine somebody using that on ranked. Just think think about that for like a moment, bro. And then you start kind of seeing why I'm worrying. And then I, I know a lot of you guys might be like, well, you know, you need to stop worrying because the game barely just recently got announced and there's barely been information out for it. And that's true. You know, all we've seen is maybe one boss battle, a few concept arts here and there, and not a lot of other information, you know? But regardless, you know, this is things that kind of get in my head when I start seeing um, news come out for the game. Because you gotta, you, you gotta see everything objectively, you know? If you see everything as a fanboy, or, you know, as simply just a fan, you're not gonna be able to see the bad uh, of anything. And that's the thing with Storm Games, man, because people don't see the bad, the potential bad that could happen, and then they get too hyped up, and then when the game comes out, the game never meets that expectation, and they get disappointed, you know? So, on that end, I feel that it could easily be abused, but I feel that the other problem CyberConnect 2 has was that they didn't use the Xbox 360 and the PS3 era to kind of implement this uh, mechanic and improve it little by little as each game came out. They could have put this on Generations because if Ubisoft could do it on the Xbox 360, I'm sure Cyberconnect 2 could have done it on Generations, but they didn't, okay? And you guys know how Cyberconnect 2 works, okay? They don't come out with patches. What they do is, if something is fucked up in the game, they improve it a little bit on the next game, and then the next game, and then the next game. So I feel that when they, you know, when they talk about this new mechanic, they should have done this a long while ago, so that way, little by little, they could be improving it and then perfecting it on Storm 4. But, you know what? You can't do shit about it now. That's in the past. This is now. And let me just start out with the fact that, okay, on that end, I don't like that mechanic, but i, I got to specify the positives that I found about the mechanic. So... The, pos the first positive was like, I started thinking about tag team battles online with friends, okay? Because that makes the online a lot more interactive, a lot more fun, a lot more entertaining overall. And it gives the game more substance, it gives the game more replayability, it gives the game more of a lifespan, basically. Now, of course, you guys might have a different view on the opinions that I'm actually saying here, that I'm voicing out. But that's what I feel like anyways. I feel the game already can have this potential to have the most substance out of all the Storm games. Okay, I mean, look at the boss battles, man. It fucking looks beautiful. And, and you know what? I feel I, I, I hope that they come out with more gameplay that has nothing to do with Hashirama and Madara. Because that shit's fucking sickening, alright? That shit has me tired already. Uh, but anyways, it's neither here nor there. For the tag team option, I, I want to see a 3v3. Not necessarily like on Xenoverse, where you have three people fight three people, but maybe, you know, have a one-on-one -on -one and then have two people on standby where they can switch out. Kind of like on Broken Bonds. That'd be fucking awesome, dude. That would just be amazing. One, because, you know, it's, it's a good benefit for YouTubers like myself, because I can play with either other YouTubers or with subs, and I can actually buy, let's say, five subs at once, as opposed to, like, on Revolution, where if I want to fight a sub or a sub wants to fight me, I have to do it like one-on-one, -on -one, you know what I'm saying? I have to invite one sub, play a little bit with him, then get another sub, you know what I'm saying? Fight a, yeah, I can't do that. I, I feel like that's too much fucking work, and you don't get to play with as many people as you want. So, um, I'm hoping this mechanic brings all the positives I just listed uh, into fruition, and I hope all the negatives are just something that, that I'm thinking about, that I'm overthinking, because CyberConnect 2 doesn't have a good track record of you know coming out with patches and updates, I just don't don't feel that, uh, you know, I have the energy for that anymore. I really don't, man. Because when, when something's broken, I, I want to see it fits as fast as possible. 
And, and when it comes to strong games, you know, you might as well just say, well, this shit's never gonna get fixed. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And, you know, let me know in the comments what are the positives and the negatives that you guys thought about, uh, you know, in, in this whole mechanic, with this whole new mechanic specifically. Um, and by the way, if the discussion kind of sucked a little bit, I'm sorry. I'm, I just got back into doing them and I'm still, you know, kind of working out the kinks on how to perfect my commentary style on this. But anyways, I'm out. Peace.